Delhi, a city that encompasses time. Dotted with monuments which remind us of our past, the city is constantly on the move. It's home to nearly 17 million people that seek a bright future. But this hope comes at a price. Delhi generates over 10,000 tons of municipal solid waste per day. And what we do with it is just push it out of sight. East Delhi Municipal Corporation is one of the most thickly populated area of National Capital Territory of Delhi. And uh, we generate about uh, 3,000 uh, metric tons of garbage daily. It goes to SLF site Ghazipur. This site has saturated long back in 2002. Uh, but because uh, Delhi being uh, constrained for land, we do not have any option but to send our garbage there. There is an initiative taken by DMC wherein uh, with the private uh, sector cooperation we have set up a garbage to energy conversion plant at uh, Ghazipur with the help of ILFS environment. The waste to energy plant at Ghazipur is a path-breaking initiative that provides a scientific solution to address the dumping of waste at Ghazipur. The plant has been set up by IL and FS Environment on a public-private partnership framework for the East Delhi Municipal Corporation. The waste to energy plant has the capability to process 2,000 tons per day and generate 12 megawatts of green power to address East Delhi's growing waste. This waste to energy plant at Gajipur is India's first showcase plant which is Euro compliant and having seven stage pre-processing facility. The municipal solid waste is delivered at the plant site by East Delhi Municipal Corporation trucks. The plant has an elaborate seven stage pre-processing facility that prepares the waste to ensure a high calorific value for the refuse derived fuel or RDF. The RDF has a calorific value of over 3,000 kilocalories per kg, thereby eliminating the need for any supplementary fuel. The state-of-the-art boiler is designed for combustion of 550 tons per day of RDF at a furnace temperature of 1,100 degrees centigrade, thus eliminating carcinogenic dioxins and furons. The flue gas generated from the combustion of RDF is passed through the real-time gas cleaning system, comprising semi-wet reactor and bag filter. Clean gases that are Euronorm compliant are discharged through the chimney. The plant has established high standards of transparency by providing real-time data on emissions, which are shared at site and online. The main steam generated from the boiler is supplied to the steam turbine to generate 12 megawatts of power at 11 kV. A part of the generated power is consumed in-house as captive consumption and the balance power is exported to DTL 220 by 66 kV Ghazipur substation. Delhi government is committed to promote renewable sources of energy. The Ghazipur plant is another step in that direction as it will not only treat solid municipal waste but also generate energy. Over the years, Ghazipur has become synonymous with incompatible land use. The area houses 80% of Delhi's meat trade, 70% of poultry trade and 95% of fish and flour trade. 7% of Delhi's milk supply is being supplied from the dairy farms located here. The catchment has become a vortex of high environmental risk. To address social and environmental concerns of the project, ILNFS supports an initiative, Gulmeher. It aims to provide alternate livelihoods for rack-picking families, in addition to providing jobs at the plant. Gulmeher also assists with functional literacy and financial inclusion. Our here is zero balance. 
अकाउंट खोले गए हैं यहाँ जितने भी एरिया है गाजीपुर और इसके आसपास के एरिया ये टोटल में आके हमने बाईस सौ लगभग अकाउंट यहाँ खोले हैं दीज एफर्ट्स हैव ट्रांसफॉर्म द लाइव ऑफ द कम्युनिटी एंड प्रोवाइड अ रेप्लिकेबल मॉडल फॉर रिहेबिलिटेटिंग रैक पिकर्स अक्रॉस टम साइट इन द कंट्री With the completion of the Gazipur Waste to Energy Project, ILNFS Environment has successfully implemented an integrated solid waste management solution for Delhi's municipal solid waste, which also includes a composting facility at Okhla and construction and demolition waste management facilities at Burari and Shastri Park. ILNFS Environment. manages the compost plant at okla 200 metric tons of municipal solid waste is processed at the plant daily the aerobic composting plant enjoys the unique distinction of being the first municipal composting plant in the world to be issued carbon credits the waste is treated on covered windrows and then undergoes further mechanical sieving to give us high quality organic manure this compost is sold for enhancing soil fertility for agriculture and to homes for kitchen gardening at over 350 mother dairy outlets in a pioneering initiative of IL and FS environment at Burari in North Delhi 2000 tons per day of construction and demolition waste is recycled to recover construction grade materials the process primarily involves segregation grinding and washing with recycled water this effort has substantially reduced the circulation of particulate matter in our atmosphere and is a significant step in reducing the air pollution levels in delhi our value added line includes concrete making and a range of precast products such as pavers tiles and curb stones we at island fs environment are confident that we can take the integrated waste management model that we have established in delhi to all our urban cities and take forward the smart city and swachh bharat initiative